Hey guys, welcome back. I've got some updates for you. Obviously, we're back in the modded world. Let me show you what I've been up to. So I have been going crazy. Oh, a slime. I've been going uh, crazy farming cows and this stuff. And I uh, I took power off of these machines. So no more no more power here. It's this battery's dead. Um, and I just left it that way because I, I don't really need this stuff right now. But there's something very cool we might be able to do with this kind of a farm situation. The cows. This is crazy. So, I don't remember what I said in the last modded episode. But I set these cows up. I got a couple of them in here. And then I set down this thing, a breeder. Which you, uh, oh, it's got some power left. You know what? Let's, let's show you what that does right now. Since it's got power. I really thought it was drained. Okay, we take our wheat, we put it in there. Now, when this bar goes down, watch. There it goes. It just bred all the cows in here. And let's see if this is still turned on. It is. Hmm, we'll leave it. Okay, well you saw these little baby cows make it over here just now, right? Let me make sure I got that experience. I did. Okay, this thing takes this wheat and uh, tries to breed these cows. This thing, you set it to move babies or adults or whatever, and it moves them back where this fan is pointing. So what I was able to do is I put a battery down here. Uh, where's something I can click with? Yeah, I put a battery down there uh, and it powered this. Power came this way to this machine so I would breed the cows and the babies would get sucked through and come over here. And I had, a, I don't know, a good 60 or 70 some cows over here. I want that cheese helmet. I'll give it up. But I had a good 60, 70 cows over here and they would all get bred and then all the babies would get kicked over here and I would... I, I would, well, we know what I would do when the babies would grow up. I don't want to say it out loud because it feels bad. Hey, another slime. Um, so that's how we've been farming that stuff, uh, uh, wheat and, um, oh, steak, steak, dar, da, dar, dar, dar. Also, with the steak, I was able to make this hamburger, which is, uh, let's see, recipe, there it is. You use this special crafting table, and you put in a bread slice, which is another thing, a piece of steak and then another bread slice, and it gives you a hamburger. The bread slices you make by just putting bread into this thing, and I'll show you what that thing is right now. We've we've got a lot of catching up to do, and uh, then then a lot of stuff to do off camera. I should say right now, you know what? Uh, let me get in here, unmorph, so I can speak to you. And hello. So we've got a, we've got a lot of stuff to do. And to be honest, I'm feeling a little under the weather today, so I'll probably record this part now, and I'll do another part uh, tomorrow or whenever I'm feeling better. Now our chests were mixed up a little bit, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what that's all about. But this is that cr special crafting table I was telling you about. It's called a uh, work worktop from this Food Plus mod. And let me show you just some of the things you can do with Food Plus. Um, <laughs> raw omelet, minced meat sandwich. Strawberry dipped in hot chocolate. Let's see what that is. It's a strawberry and hot chocolate. And what do, you, what do you make with hot chocolate? You take chocolate and you smelt it. How do you make chocolate? Milk, chocolate, and a bowl. How do you make chocolate? Cocoa beans and sugar. So a whole lot of layers to crafting this stuff. Let me go back in bat form so I can get around a little bit quicker. Now these chests are eventually... Oh man, I didn't even... Okay, I got these statues. Listen, I'm going to right-click on it, I hope. <laughs> oh, that was that statue that made that sound. Now listen to this. Oh, and he gave me leather. What? It gave me leather. Okay, well, that was interesting. Uh, here's what we have left from what we've been collecting at that farm. A whole, whole lot of stuff. Michael, or Michael... Paul Shannon gave me this. I don't know how he did it. There was another one that was above my bed that I tried to take down, and it disappeared. It just disappeared, and, and I got a sword or something when I took it down. 
So I left this one up just in case, you know, I don't know how we did it, but I love it. I love this. This is, this is so cool. I came into my house and there was just a statue here. There was also, <laughs> when I came in, when I went to sleep or when I logged off last time rather, or before I logged off at my bed, right? So when I logged in, there was another statue at this block lurching over me, holding a sword. I thought something was trying to kill me. Now, that's the one that I wasn't able to save. This one, I, I love it. Every time I come in here, I feel, number one, threatened. I go, whoa, something's there. And then I go, oh, oh, it's my little buddy, the statue guy. I'll leave him alone. So here's where we're going to enchant things. This is not a regular enchanting table. It's from a mod called Liquid XP. And you, you put these medallions, it's, it's a whole complex situation. But basically, I, I use experience in these medallions. Well, I don't want to do it because then I'll actually put it in. But I would put these in here. And then it puts 30 levels on each of these. I take these medallions over here. I put them up in this slot. Put a book here. And then the type of thing that I want to enchant here. It's, it's really crazy. So um, this is going to be our monster farm, and we're going to use witches. Reason we're going to use, one, two reasons we're going to use witches. One, really good drops. They drop glowstone, and that's awesome. Um, two, they're quiet. They don't make a bunch of noise. They just spawn, they don't make any noise, and then they fall. This gets complex. I'm sorry for how complex these mods are, but it's very, very cool stuff. This is called a vacuum hopper. This thing can pick up items and uh, uh, I, I think any liquid, but I, I know for sure experience. Maybe it's just experience. Actually, I think it is just experience. It can pick up items and experience. So you can, uh, let me hit, oh, there we go. Right here, you set up where you want the experience to go. And we've got that coming out of the bottom right here. And then on this one, you say where you want the items to go. So the items are gonna come out the back right there. So what's going to happen is the witches are gonna fall. They're gonna land here and, and die, right? They drop their experience. Well, let me back up. Let me back up and tell you why they drop their experience. Because of this machine, it's called a liquid XP catalyzer and all this thing does is when something wouldn't normally drop experience um meaning it falls to its death and i don't punch it normally it doesn't drop experience this thing makes it drop experience anyway and this is actually fed with experience you take a bucket of experience you dump it in there and it starts running so problem is you have to, experience has to be in this thing all the time for it to run. So what we're doing is I've got this hopper which picks up the experience, okay? It comes through this pipe down into here, but it, this doesn't actually, just imagine this isn't even connected right here anyway. The experience goes this way and it goes that way, okay? The experience that comes this way goes into our tank here. And then the tank, because this is powered, uh, the experience gets sucked out of it down here and pulled into this block. So this tank is basically a big buffer. Um, it's like, uh, say your mom or dad's car, right? You can imagine if they had two tanks of gas instead of one tank. So if the first tank ran out, they would have a backup. That's what this is, it's a backup tank. So that, then the experience in this gold tube goes off that way, okay? The items are picked up, which reminds me, those fell. The items are picked up and sent this way. Now there's another cool thing about this where you notice these have power right now, but I don't have any levers or anything around them. I found out that I can craft this thing. Uh, I'll show you it in a second. Don't be intimidated by the name. It's called, a, I, I think, a pneumatic servo, okay? Doesn't really matter what it's called. I can call it Jacob. Matter of fact, I'm going to call it Jacob. So I craft Jacob, and I right-click on this thing, and it gives me control of this. So now I can right-click on this thing, 
and go disable or it needs a lever to be powered, right? I've got it ignored, so it's always on. And I can also blacklist and whitelist items. Blacklist means whatever's in here will not go through this pipe. So if I put an ender pearl in there, well, I guess that's not going to work. Blacklist, whitelist? I guess that's not going to work. Oh, no, it's, it's a fluid filter. Okay. Blacklist, nothing. Okay. Let me show you this on an item one. I don't know why there's a blacklist on a fluid thing. So I right click on this. Blacklist. I don't know what this is. Oh, I guess that's for um, repairs or something like that. Ignore MBT. I don't really know that. Or dictionary. I don't know. I don't know what most of this stuff is. But I did the same thing where it ignores the redstone, so it's always on. Now this blacklist, right? If I put this in here, while this is in blacklist mode, then ender pearls will not go through this thing. If I put it on whitelist and have an ender pearl in here, then only ender pearls will go through. So what we do, oh, I guess that just went... Oh, well, <laughs> I guess it just got sucked out. What we do is we blacklist, but we don't put anything in here. So everything goes through. Now, let's follow these tubes. So remember, oh, let me show you Jacob real quick. Uh, F, okay, there we go. Um, pneumatic servo. So this is crafted iron, glass, and redstone. Gives you one of these things. And then you hold that thing in your hand. You right click on a pipe and it lets you do this kind of cool filtering and all kinds of neat stuff. We're, we're probably gonna take advantage of that later. It comes all the way up here. You'll see the liquid goes into our giant tank and the items stop here. Why do I have the items stop? Two reasons. One, I ran out of these pipes. <laughs> Two, Two, we're going to have a massive storage system, and that uses different types of pipes, ducts, than, than this does. So what we're going to have to do is this is going to go into a chest, and then everything that's in that chest is going to be connected on the other side to our giant storage system. Crazy stuff, right? Now, haha, <laughs> so our experience... You know, our witches fall down there. The experience comes all the way up here into this tank. On this side of the tank, the experience comes out. Goes along this way, all the way over to here and to here, to two machines, which are these guys. The imprinter, which I showed you, and the combiner, which... Uh, a combiner is, is uh, it's an anvil, actually. That's pretty much what it is. It's an anvil. So I put a sword in here, and I put a book with sharpness on it here, and it goes bloop, bloop, and gives me the sword with sharpness. That's all. You'll notice we have a whole lot of bookshelves. I had to farm a lot of cows. That's why I set that whole thing up to be automatic. For this liquid experience enchanting you need four times as many bookshelves as you do in normal minecraft so i had to make a lot of bookshelves and yeah that's that do it yet ah oh, this thing is so so cool okay <laughs> i get very distracted by cool things in this game so i get distracted quite often um Yep, yeah, we need two of those. Great. Block teleporter. Two of these. Hmm. Okay. Now, I know I need at least one of these. I don't know if I need two. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause recording real quick and look this up before I craft an extra one. And I will be right back. And we're back. Um, I, uh, I messed up a little bit when I, when I stopped that recording. But... We're good now. Uh, it was just my own my own thing. Let's see. Paul is on right now, which is very, very good. Um, where am I going to put these spawners? I'm trying to figure out where these spawners are going to go right now. So, do do do. We'll do that. Now we take one of these and face it this way. 
This is going to put a spawner in this block. Whew. Okay, now we find the witches. And I know there's some somewhere around here. Witch, there's a witch thingy. Where's another one? Lava. I know I put a marker around here somewhere. Home in the nether. Let's find it. Clay. There's a witch thingy. No, that's the one that we just saw. Another witch thingy. Okay. So we're going to this witch thingy. I'm going to cut the camera off and I will be right back with you. Okay, it's nighttime and I accept this challenge. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this at night. So we Oh, I know one's about to spawn. We take that and we put that in. <laughs> Don't kill me. Oh, we put that block in there just like we did at this other thing. Oh man, nighttime is so dangerous. <laughs> I knew I should have waited until day. I knew it. Oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna die. I'm just gonna get down to one heart. Oh, it's such an unfortunate sound. Squeak, squeak. Oh, come on, baby, we can do it. Mm, give me health. Give me health. Oh, man. I really should have had some milk on me. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Jeez Louise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm really glad I was recording that. Okay, we're gonna get some milk ready. Just in case that happens again. Uh, right click, give me milk. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, so now we've got a block down in our basement. We've got a block over there. Oh, and I'm gonna have to go back. <laughs> okay. So this, this thing, I... Shift and right click, and I think it did something. And now I should. Ooh, ooh! I'm really glad I I caught this. Um, I think we should be okay. We've got good light in here. I'm afraid of witches spawning here when I come back, but I think we'll be okay with the torches. I need to put a wall up there so that witches can't get through. But. Not yet. Someday. Someday. So we'll go all the way back to the witch spawner. <laughs> Man, that was... That was uh, interesting. All the way back. We're going to do this a bunch of times. We're going to do this at least four times. I want four witch spawners in there. Ha ha. Yeah. Uh, whew. So <laughs> let's get back here. Ah... Uh. TTYL, Paul. Uh, get back down here. We're going to open this thing up. Um, oh. oh, well. At least the creeper didn't blow that thing up. So, guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that... Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to get rid of the, uh, the, the knight, and I'm going to get this figured out. Uh, I will be right back with you. This episode's going a little long, so I want to cut the camera and come back when I have something good to come back to. So, be right back. <sighs> okay, we're back. I made another one of these things. And I don't think that worked right. Oh, man. No! No, no, no! It just destroyed again! Oh, boy! Oh, man! Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, I'm going to start crying. Okay, guys, we're back, and I don't know if this is going to work. Please work. <sighs> okay. Now, we open this up. We put this in. Please work. Yes! Yes! It did it! Okay. Hey, what is that? Now, I don't think I can pick this back up. <gasps> I did! I did! Oh, man! Thank you, Silk Touch. Thank you, Silk Touch. Oh, boy. Okay. Back to the farm. Back to the farm. So I'm happy about that. Now, let's see if this worked. And it did. There's our spawner. Okay. So, Silk Touch. Oh, good. 
There's one spawner. Now I'm gonna repeat this for three more spawners, okay? Be right back. Oh boy, guys, I almost died so many times right now. <laughs> Look how many torches there are. I had to dig one level down because the witches didn't have room to get under these cages. Uh, and when I did, man, those witches started coming for me. So we're gonna do everything that's not a torch right now, and we'll do the torches last. So what we wanna do is push them towards the middle. Thusly. So there, 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 do. Now watch. See? Just slowly moves you forward. I'm not hitting anything right now. I, ah, walk against it. Here we go. Okay? Easy peasy. Not bad. Okay. Huh. Hmm. And if this isn't enough uh, conveyor belts, I have more ready to go. It's all right. There. Oh, man. That was, it was so scary. Yeah, like all of a sudden out of nowhere, a witch popped up. And as soon as I got it almost dead, another witch popped up. And then another one, and then another one, and another one. And they, oh, oh man. Very scary for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get under that thing. Get here. Okay. Whew. There, there, there. Actually, you know what? That wall may just come all the way down. Eventually. Eventually. Not now. We'll worry about that later. I am definitely going to need more of these. Let me get another stack. I've got my crafting recipe ready to go. I can't go out above the door. I'll show you why. Paul left us a present. I complimented Paul on his, his uh, statues, and he left another one for us. I love that the, uh, the, the ingredients stay in the crafting table. It's not a crafting table. It's called like a crafting bench or something, I think. But I love that the stuff stays in there until, you know, you take it out. I think that's just an awesome little touch. Okay, and then these are gonna go this way? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Neato, neato, neato. And we'll take out anything under this uh, ledge off to the right first because that's going to be the biggest pain in the butt spot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep. Need more conveyor belts. Just uh, one more stack. Let me, let me show you what's above the door here while I'm thinking of it. Paul left us another statue. <laughs> I, uh, he gave me a link. I'm gonna look at how to make these statues myself. But, uh, man, remember, like I was saying, you know, uh, a couple days ago, hey, the, the questions that Paul's asking now are questions that we had a couple days ago. Well, now Paul is, is I think it's safe to say, Paul is up to speed. Paul, Paul knows how this mod pack's working now, for sure. Okay, uh, so let's see. The only one is going to be this little guy. Hmm. Huh. Phew, I know the witches are going to start coming. Oh, man, get out of my face. Oh, boy. Oh, ho, ho, boy. Oh, I got to finish this off. Oh, why am I stuck? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. 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 Come on. I can do it. I can do it. Uh, okay. Huh. Huh. Almost done. Almost done. Oh, man. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. I forgot I had to put slabs down. Can I do marble slabs? No. Darn it. Stone slabs. <sighs> okay, I have to put slabs on top of those spawners so that the witches can't spawn on top of them. Oh boy, like that one just did. If they spawn on top, then they can get stuck up there. Oh man, th look at the arm on that one. Ooh, hoo, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, man, I need glass. I need uh, I need good glass. I need normal glass. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Okay, glass. 
Oh, give me that. Give me that clear stuff. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at my health. Oh, this is scary. Is seven got... What? Two. Huh. 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 And you know what? I'll just do more marble under there. More marble. <sighs> now let's watch these things spawn. Oh, boy. That was scary. That was so scary. Okay, we'll take that stuff out. I think they should be dying. Are they not? Oh, man, if this isn't working after all... Oh, 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 I know what it is. I know what it is. I didn't put experience in the bottom there, so they're not dropping experience right now. Remember I said you have to give this thing experience and then it starts feeding itself? I didn't give it experience. Okay. Uh... There's another bucket. Give me a bucket from out here. We'll just get... We'll say three. We'll grab one, two, three buckets. Oh, man. This is... This is complicated. If it's hard for you guys to follow, believe me, it's hard for me to get this stuff too. Okay. One, two, three. Now we'll go down there. Okay. Do, 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 do. We will put experience in there. There we go. There's one. Hey, what? Oh, darn it. It only gave me one thing. Okay. It's... Ah. Oh, boy. Wait, I th swear I thought I had three buck. Okay. And... Oh, well, it is going. I don't know. I don't know why I can't uh, put it in this thing, but it seems like it's working right now. So... Hmm. Let's get back up here. What a complicated, crazy thing this is turning into. into. Um, but man, look at all those witches. That's great. That's a good. That's good spawn rates right there. That's what we call that. I could hide this. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about hiding it so that it's more dark. But uh, you know, we won't. Uh, we won't worry about that. For now, seventy nine eighty five. Oh, okay, and our XP is coming up. Let's double check this. We should have glowstone and redstone and oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at all that stuff. <gasps> Glass bottles, good. Those are our torches that we kept losing. Whew. Okay, guys. We have an XP farm and it's completely automatic. Ha ha, ha ha ha. So I can, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put these buckets back in there. Blam, blam. Look, now this stuff is showing up. I don't get it. Something was really fishy with this thing for a minute there. But, guys, we are situated. <laughs> and ta-da! Hello. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for having patience if you made it this far. I don't think I would have made it this far watching somebody's video and them messing up and messing up and messing up. So I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope it's not too crazy me trying to figure this stuff out as I'm showing it to you. You know, I'm just very excited about these mods and I, I want to, you know, I want to enjoy them with you. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Take care.